One Gospel, Version 2, Part 76, Jesus teaches about who he really is. Matthew 16, 13 through 28, Mark 8, 27 to 9, 1, Luke 9, 18 through 27. And Yeshua and his disciples went forth into the region of the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples joined him. And by the road he asked his disciples, saying to them, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they answered and said, Some say Yochanan the Baptist, and others say Eliyahu, and others say Yermeyahu, or that one of the ancient prophets has risen again. And he said to them, And you, who do you say that I am? And Shimon Kepha answered and said to him, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Yeshua answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Shimon bar Yona, because flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. But my Father, who is in the heavens, and I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give to you the keys of the kingdom of the heavens, and whatever you shall bind on the earth shall be bound in the heavens, and whatever you shall loose on the earth shall be loosed in the heavens. And then he strictly warned and ordered his disciples that they should tell this to no one about him, that he was Yeshua the Messiah. And from that time, Yeshua began to teach to his disciples that the Son of Man must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and to rise again after three days. And he spoke that saying openly, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed and be raised the third day. And Kepha took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, May it be far from you, Lord. This shall not happen to you. And when he turned around and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Kepha, saying, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, because you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. And when he had called the multitude to him with his disciples, then Yeshua said to all of them, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life shall lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels, he shall save it. For what is a man profited if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul or loses himself? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man is about to come. Whoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man shall also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father and with the holy angels. And then he shall reward everyone according to his works. And he said to them, and truly I say to you that there are some standing here who shall not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in the kingdom of God with power.